percentages of fractions with a denominator of 100. The symbol for percent is like that. So here we have a fraction bar and we can see that it's split into 100 pieces and we have 74 of those pieces shaded. So as a fraction we could write what we see as 74 over 100. As a decimal we could write 0.74 because we know that the second digit after the decimal point is the hundredths digit and we have 74 hundredths. Notice also that what we have is the same as 7 tenths and 4 hundredths so that's why we have 0.74. But we can also write what we see here as a percentage. That's 74%. Notice it's not 74 over 100% because the percentage sign tells us that it has a denominator of 100. The percentage sign tells us that it's a fraction over 100. So here, as a fraction, we have 57 hundredths. As a decimal, we have 0.57. And as a percentage, we have 57%. And in this fraction bar, we have 30 hundredths, which we can write as a decimal as 0 0.3. We could write 0 0.30, but remember we don't need zeros on the ends of decimals. So, because 30 hundredths is the same as 3 tenths, we can just write 0 0.3. As a percentage, we can write 30% because we have 30 parts out of 100 and the percent sign tells us out of 100. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent, then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next video.